What's up boys and girls? Welcome back to the channel. If you're having trouble with key binding bugs or camera movement issues in SALKR2, Heart of Cornabill, you've come to the right place. Today, I'm going to guide you through some solid fixes that'll help you get back to exploring the zone smoothly. If this video helps you out, be sure to like it and let me know in the comments. Solution 1, check for read-only settings. The first solution is to make sure your configuration files aren't set to read-only. Here's what you need to do. Open the folder where the game's configuration files are stored. This is typically found in your documents directory. Right-click on the folder, then go to Properties. Make sure the read-only box is unchecked. Hit Apply, save the changes, and then try modifying your key bindings in the game again. Solution 2. Manually edit configuration files. If the in-game settings aren't saving properly, here's a workaround. Locate the user.ltx file in the game's configuration directory. Open the file with a text editor. Find the specific key binding entries you want to adjust. For example, look for entries like bind custom 20km, this controls the PDA map. Change the values as needed, save the file, and restart the game. Solution 3, reset to default settings. Sometimes, starting fresh fixes unexpected issues. Go to the game's options menu. Select the option to reset your key bindings to their default settings. After resetting, customize your controls again to fix your preferences. Solution 4, update or reinstall the game. Keeping your game updated is critical. Here's how. Check your game client, like Steam, for updates and install the latest patches. If the issue persists after updating, consider reinstalling the game to repair any potential file corruption. Solution 5. Consult official support channels. If none of these solutions work, don't hesitate to reach out to the official STALKR2 support team or check community forums for additional advice. Developers often release targeted fixes for known problems. And that's it for today's guide, everyone. I hope one of these solutions worked for you. If it did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and drop a comment to let me know. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.